<laughs> get comfy, folks, because I have a feeling this is going to be a long one. Given my level of buzz and the time of evening, the fact that I'm getting a little tired right now, this might actually be a long beer review, but Suddenly Comfy from Dogfish Head is an Imperial Cream Ale. Now, I've had a lot of cream ales. I've never seen an Imperial Cream Ale. Ale brewed with apple juice, cinnamon, allspice, and vanilla beans. Ho, 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 ho. I see why they're saying suddenly comfy. I mean, apple juice, cinnamon, allspice, and vanilla beans. That just sounds like a nice, nice fall beer. Um, it did come out in the fall. Imagine that. 8% ABV, so it's going to be nice and heavy. I mean, that's, that, that's freaking apple pie. That's... Yeah, pretty much that's apple pie. Suddenly comfy. Well, there's not a whole lot about it on the label other than those ingredients. So let's uh, let's crack her open and find out what it's all about. I mean, I, I'm, I'm lacking the words to describe it right now. Like I said, I've got a decent level of inebriation going. And it is getting later in the evening, so I am a little tired. So I may be coming up short a little bit here on descriptors, but I mean, it just sounds like comfort food, comfort dessert, nice apple pie. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, look at that. It actually looks like a nice glass of apple juice. It's got that golden brown color to it. I've come to associate with things like moths. It's not very effervescent. There's not a lot of bubbles coming up through. It is slightly hazy, like a glass of juice. I didn't get a very good head on that, but I didn't get too aggressive with the pour either. So, it smells sweet. Smells sweet, and I'm definitely smelling the apple juice, like very vaguely. Other than that, I'm not getting a whole lot off of it. Hmm. Well, it's definitely a beer. I mean, it doesn't taste it doesn't taste sweet. It doesn't taste like a juice or a, a hard cider. It's definitely a beer. It's got a nice strong ale flavor. It's got a nice medium, medium mouth feel. Hmm. I think I'm getting a little smokiness in the finish, but definitely getting the apple juice flavor. And then like the cinnamon, the allspice are combining into this slightly bitter, slightly savory, spicy flavor as you swallow. And then after the finish, I'm getting a little, little tiny hint of a cooling se sensation combined with the flavor of the vanilla. But yeah, all throughout the whole thing, just this nice grainy ale flavor just a general beeriness about it, if that makes any sense. But the different other flavors, the... Mm, pardon. Hiccups are trying to come through. Hang on, I'm going to try and stifle those. Only two things cause hiccups, folks. A dry throat, which I obviously don't have right now, and a fluctuating diaphragm, which can be exacerbated by alcohol. So, <clears throat> regulate your breathing, wet your throat. One thing that really helps in regulating your breathing, I know I'm getting off on a tangent here, is learning how to breathe with the lower lobes of your lungs. Your lungs have four lobes. you got your right and left lung, but you also have your upper two and lower two lobes 
the trick that I learned a long time ago. Thank you, Richard Sweat. Dick Sweat. <laughs> My wrestling coach in high school. Dick Sweat. Oh, no shit. Richard Sweat. Dick Sweat. Oh. Anyway. Is to put your fingers, your hands, right down by your belly button. And your two middle fingers should touch over your belly button. Now, as you inhale, those fingers should move apart because you're filling the lower two lobes of your lungs, which most people don't breathe that way. And then the next inhale, the next part of your inhale should fill the upper lobes of your lungs so you should feel your chest expand. It's tricky, but if you learn that cyclical breathing, lower, upper, lower, upper lobes of your lungs, And you breathe out in that same cycle. Breathe out lower, breathe out upper. You can, one, really increase your lung capacity and therefore shorten your recovery time from exertion. And two, it also teaches you to regulate and control your breathing so that you can get rid of hiccups faster. I told you this was going to be a fucking long video. I hope you took my advice and got comfy. Anyway. <clears throat> That was my little segue. I'll try not to do that again. Suddenly comfy from Dogfish Head. This is a great beer. That's good for fall. I'll tell you that. This is like a nice apple pie. It's it's like a an apple pie loaded with oats or some other grain. It's um it's delicious. And it has those spicy notes reminiscent of apple pie, but it is very distinctly a beer first and foremost. Um, I would drink this during any holiday, during the colder months. Um, I can't quite see myself drinking it in spring or fall, or spring or summer, but I sure as hell wouldn't turn it down either. It's delicious. What I'm building up to here with this beer being great during the colder months, but acceptable during the warmer months. All the other things I've mentioned, this is unique. This is different, and I'm really getting a, a wow reaction off of it. So this is a full five out of five for me. This beer is great. And Dogfish Head tends to get a little crazy, and sometimes when they do these interesting different ingredients, I, I don't know if they were going for apple pie, but I mean, come on. <laughs> The, the, those ingredients plus the actual border on the logo looks like a fucking pie crust. They must have been going for that, right? Or some kind of pie, because it looks more like a pecan pie, but, you know, apple and allspice tastes more like apple pie. Anyway, um, hit the mark, whatever they were aiming for. I assume apple pie, but um, that's delicious. You should check it out. You should get yourself a four-pack. I'm wishing I uh, <clears throat> had more sitting around because this is the only one I've got right now. Anyway, full marks, five out of five for me. Love to hear what you have to say about Suddenly Comfy. Hit me up down below in the comments or the email link. While you're down there, make sure to like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Till next time, folks, thanks for tuning in. Get comfy. Life's too short to not be comfy. Cheers. Comfy for me means a sweatshirt tonight because it's fucking 60 degrees in here. Keeps the heating bill low. <laughs>